Hi, my name is Nelvin, and I'm an acting teacher. Today, I'll be teaching you three tricks on how to speak clearly and confidently. Now, these tricks are applicable on any public speaking situation, such as a job interview, when you're performing on stage, when you have to socialize to other people at work, at school, any kind of occasions where you have to public speak. I upload a video every two weeks, so make sure to subscribe for my new acting video in two weeks. Now, I have a question for you. How many of you are so comfortable speaking perfectly at home, but once you get out there in public, you get so nervous speaking in public? Or in a place where you're not familiar with? Chances are, you're probably a good speaker. But a public speaker? Yeah, you need a little bit of work. First trick to speak clearly and to speak confidently, it's actually to slow down. Wait, 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 stop right there. I know what you're thinking. A lot of people have told you that and you've heard it a million times. But are you doing it correctly? Do you actually know how to slow down? Like, how do you slow down when you're so nervous and your brain isn't even working? It's not telling you to slow down. How do you slow down when you're so nervous speaking in public? I'm gonna give you some tricks. Now, when we're nervous, we tend to look like we're not confident. We tend to speed up, we tend to rush our speech like we're in a, I don't know, spelling bee, rapping competition. Whoever can speak the fastest will win the competition. This is how you sound like when you are so nervous to a point where you can't even slow down. So, why do you think you'll rush when you're nervous? It's because it's so embarrassing, it's so awkward talking to other people, talking to a crowd of people where you just want to get it over with as fast as possible. That's why you want to rush your whole speech and say the entire, recite the entire Shakespeare play within like 20 minutes. It's impossible. The moment is embarrassing, but if you rush, it's even more embarrassing. So I suggest you do the opposite. There are two things you need to do now. First, when you feel like you're rushing or speeding up your speech, there's one thing you can do. Take a three second timeout. You know what I mean? You know in sports event where there is a timeout or a half time? Yes, this is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a three second timeout when you are feeling like nervous and rushing. Now, how can you take a timeout when you're talking to other people, right? It's so easy. Find the distractions around you or either take a three second breath. It's totally acceptable when other people see you just, okay, taking a breath, processing what you're talking, right? The easy way is just to find a distraction around you. For example, find an excuse. Oh, right, yeah, it's snowing like so hard today, right? I know, but you know what? When you are talking about the snow, you are actually giving yourself a three second timeout. It's totally acceptable. What you don't want to do is to keep talking nonstop and then everyone just feels like you're rushing, 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 rushing. It's so annoying, okay? Take a three second timeout, find an excuse to talk about something else around you. Oh, look at that person. Oh, have you ever tried this uh, Starbucks coffee that just came out? It gives your brain some time to think and to process things. Trust me, you might not think three seconds is a long time, but for your brain, a three second timeout is long enough for it to refresh your mind and to calm down. It changes your speech from hell to heaven. Hey, comment below and tell me in what situations do you feel the most nervous talking in public? Is it when you're talking to a friend, talking to a mom? Uh, is it when you're talking to your professor? Is it when you're talking to other actors? Talking to your co-workers? I want to know! Comment below and let me know when you feel the most nervous talking and in what situations, where and when. Step number two. After taking a three second break, what do you do, right? It doesn't just slow down there. I want you to talk like you are teaching your grandma how to use a new vacuum. This is a fantastic metaphor, you know, teaching a grandma how to use a vacuum because it forces your brain to slow down and to make sure you check in with your receiver once or twice every minute or so and make sure that your information is getting across to the other person. It makes you slow down your speech. Grandma! So, when you, when you see the vacuum, you have to plug it in all, yeah, all the way. Yeah. Do you see the little step? Yeah, underneath the vacuum machine. Yeah, use your, your right foot. Yeah, no, 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 that's your left foot. Right foot, step on it, and then, do you hear the sound? Now the vacuum has started. It's a fantastic metaphor. Use it whenever you're talking to a person, you feel like you're so nervous, you can't even speak a single word. Just 
Teach your grandma how to use a vacuum. Whenever you're on a date, whenever you're talking to your professors, I don't know. It works. It just works. By the way, if you guys like this kind of content or if you have a specific acting technique you want to learn, well, please comment below and let me know and I will consider teaching it. I'll be making more public speaking lessons in the following week, so make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss out any public speaking techniques, okay? We just talked about how slowing down can immediately make your speech more clear and more confident in the moment. So, I'm gonna let you know what to do when you actually have time to prepare the speech in advance, okay? Sometimes you have time to prepare for the speech you're going to make. What do you do in that situation? Whether you're preparing for an audition, a job interview, you know, preparing for a speech to speak in front of the whole national TV or try to win an argument or preparing a speech to say on the first date, you'll be expecting spontaneous talking or wherever the situation takes you, right? Wrong! If you want to speak clearly and confidently, reduce the possibility of speaking spontaneously in public. Reduce spontaneous speaking as much as possible. Okay, what I mean by reducing the possibility of spontaneous talking is that I want you to prepare a script in hand or in your mind to respond to whatever the other person says to you. There's always a script in your head, don't you agree? Okay, okay, okay. For example, I'm in an audition, right? And the casting director asked me, Nelvin, what do you think you can offer as a Chinese actor? This shouldn't strike me as a surprise. I should have already predicted that the casting director might ask me this question and I have already prepared an answer for it, okay? This is what I've called reducing the possibility of spontaneous talking and spontaneous just responding, okay? It's no good. Spontaneous talking is, it makes you so nervous. So from now on, prepare a script. Because in that case, you are not improvising anymore. There's no way you're improvising the answer because it's already in your head. So you can just say it confidently. Okay, so what exactly is this trick? It's called a prompt book. A prompt book is essentially a document where you jot down all the possible questions, answers, or things you're going to say when you are delivering the speech. You can either write it in points form if you like, or in the whole paragraph like I do. Let me tell you a secret. Did you all know that I actually have a prompt book to follow on right here next to me that I have written out a week in advance? Why do I sound so confident? Why do I sound like I'm improvising? I'm not! It's all scripted in my head. That's that's how I speak confidently. You might be saying, well, how do I memorize all these scripts, lines, dialogues, conversations in my head? I'm not a dictionary. I know. Well, if you have trouble memorizing lines, please go back to my last video. I have taught you skills and tricks on how to memorize lines instantly, fast and easy. Now, you know the secret. Almost everything can be scripted nowadays. <laughs> By knowing your script well, you can now focus on other things other than being nervous, such as body language, emotion, facial expression, ideas, tone of speaking, style of speaking, way of speaking, and so on. You won't have to worry about your speech anymore, right? No more nervousness. I'll be making a separate video on body language. So make sure you hit the subscribe button now, especially if you need help with your body language. Lastly, if you want to speak confidently and clearly, you definitely have to learn this trick. It's to engage with the person or the crowd you're talking to. What do I mean by that? Like, like how do I do it? Okay, there's a saying, I don't know where I heard this from, or I probably invented it. The saying goes, don't talk at the person talk to the person. A lot of times when you're not confident enough to talk to a person, you will always go into your head and forget that you are actually talking to a real person in real life. You're actually engaging in a human conversation. And then you'll start mumbling because you're basically going into your head and talking to yourself. So why bother talking so clearly when you're talking to yourself? Right? Okay, I have a very useful trick for you. This trick is to make sure that you connect with this person every once in a while and make sure you check in with them so that you know they understand what you're saying and they are on the same page. Okay, what I often do is to ask rhetorical questions like these, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Uh-huh. I know there are some people here who are not confident to ask these kind of rhetorical questions. Well, in that case, guess what? There's so many ways to check in with the person you're talking to. For example, you can smile like... Or not, like, you know, you see how I did that, like... 
or you can simply gesture with your hands, like... Like... Right? There's so many ways to check in with a person. Again, I'll be making a separate video on body language, so if you really want to learn how to use your body language when you're speaking, Subscribe right now because I'll be posting that video within these two weeks. That's some of the tricks on how to speak clearly and confidently in public. I have so much more to teach you, so please subscribe right now so I can teach you more acting stuff, okay? My name is Nelvin and I'm an acting teacher and I upload a video every two weeks. So make sure you comment below if you have any specific acting techniques you'd like me to teach you. I'll teach you whatever you want me to teach, okay? If you want to see me every single day, you can follow me on TikTok at actor Nelvin. There, I post a video once or twice a day. Obviously, like my Facebook page and my Instagram page for more. If you are serious about learning acting, I am now offering online acting courses all on Zoom where I'll be teaching you how to act, how to analyze your script, how to analyze your character, as well as how you can prepare for an audition. I'll be running through different scenes with you and I'll be running through different audition materials with you. For more information, visit www.nelvindramaacademy.com. See you in two weeks.